Can you start by telling us uh, a little bit about who you are and what you do? Uh, yeah. So, uh, Kino Marin is my name. I'm the uh, co-founder and CEO of Neuroform. Um, I used to be a computer science person um, slash art person and uh, started uh, working with uh, open source communities about uh, seven years ago now. I uh, just got, got the bug and organized this conference uh, in the southeast of Ireland. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a funny one, uh, NodeConf. Uh, the first NodeConf um, was uh, like a great idea that, that, that a couple of us had uh, one morning. And it was like, that's actually a crazy idea. Don't do that. And it was like, we have to do it. And, and uh, we literally had to organize a conference from never having run a conference before, not knowing anybody, et cetera, et cetera. In like, I think it was 14 weeks from the discussion one morning to, we, we, we rented the Guinness storehouse in Dublin and we had like all the, all the original Node people uh, arrived in from all over the world, kind of going, wow, this is cool. We're having a JavaScript conference in a brewery, um, and uh, yeah, it was it's pretty special. Like, um, definitely got like a, a, a big kind of a impression. Um, you know, especially meeting the the open source folks coming from all over the world. That they're like almost like comic book characters. Like they're they're, they're larger than life, and they're like they've got magical powers, and you know, their modules do crazy things in the internet, and and all that stuff. So. Uh, definitely um, felt that uh, at a very early stage it was like you know it's an artistic endeavor like and uh, you know creating new things and sharing them and stuff like that and and that you know there was something something special going on so um, very much tried to keep it small uh, uh, Chris Williams um, uh, voodoo tiki god um, uh, you know he, he helped me out when I was trying to trying to organize the conference uh, originally, and we, we talked about the principles of the JSConf uh, community and what things are about, and uh, it definitely was like, it's not about size, it's not about number of people, it's not about any of that stuff, it's actually about quality, and it's about, it's about equality between the speakers and the people that attend the conference. Um, and essentially what we're trying to do is, is create a, like a Petri dish uh, for all these like interesting um, particles that blow across the winds of the earth to land in one place and create new things and stuff like that. So we're you know, trying to be kind of, um, I suppose, kind of curators and, and just, just like create the, the, the right environment for interesting things to happen and then just enjoy watching it happen. Like, so mm -hmm. that's, kind of, that's kind of like where, I, I guess, where it started and, and uh, at, at its core, uh, some of the things that we like felt were important about the conference. And you know, it's interesting, I think, that you mentioned uh, how Chris helped you out in the beginning, because uh, I'm actually reminded of the story of how JSConf US started, mm. when you know, Chris was sitting around with a few of his friends and being like, you know, I really wish we had a conference where we could just like kind of hang out and have fun. No, it's going to ruin your life. <laughs> Don't have that idea. Stop. Well, there is definitely <laughs> that element to it. But like, I feel like this is a common thread with a lot of uh, the conferences that have mm. become really mainstays. And I think no, no Conf U is absolutely one of the mainstays of conferences these days. Uh, and it's, it's really that community element. It's, uh, it, you know, it's, um, you, you can't synthesize, uh, you know, community stuff. Like it, it's kind of has to come from people being interested in something and, and believing in something and, and kind of just going with like, you know, you, you, you sit there with a friend of yours and you're going, God, wouldn't it be amazing if there was a, like a black conference on here? And then they're like, no, no, it's a bad idea. Don't do it. And you're like, yes, come on. It's the right thing to do. Like, you know, and um, I, I think that's been a recurring theme like that, that you know, it's, uh, it's, it's nice when you go to a place where everyone is driven by the right motivations when they're, when they're getting involved in a conference like this. But, um, yeah, yeah. I especially think, you know, another thing you said earlier, you know, just sort of normalizing everyone and that, you know, it's just, we're all here together to like learn from each other. And, and it's not like, you know, there's the speakers who are the big fancy showy people. In the speaker room where they all hang uh, out and you've got security guards uh, and then like, you know, everyone yeah. else can sit outside and have yeah. the like, the, the, you know, the plate of curry and the like, the, the crappy coffee and stuff. Yeah. It's like, you know, we're, we're the exact opposite of that. Like it's, it's, it's actually everybody gets treated the same, which is mm -hmm. the way it should be. But 
Mm -hmm. um, actually, one of the metrics or one of the, one of the things that, that uh, uh, I've seen happen a few times um, since we started conference is uh, you'd get somebody who attends a conference one year and they're, you can see that they're just going, oh my God, this is, I've never been at anything like this before. And they get really inspired and they, get, they, start, they start talking to people that they would see as role models. Um, and, and then a year or two later, they're back giving a talk. Mm -hmm. And you're going now. We've, we've, you know, that's success for me. Like it's, mm -hmm. um, and you, you love to see that like positive things happen as a result of someone's experience of this thing. Like, um, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's been fun. Yeah, I think that happens a lot. <laughs> like pretty much every speaker I know, myself included. You know, we got into speaking because we saw someone else doing, and we were really inspired mm. by it. It's, yeah. But yet we all kind of come from the same place at the end of the day. You know, no one's born a rock star or anything. Well, like except that. for me. Well, course, except for you, of course. course. Of course. Yeah, you're the one exception. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, like seriously, like um, actually the um, that that uh, you know it, it actually takes a lot of guts to uh, put yourself out there like you know and uh, you know and we all come from different backgrounds and different experiences in our lives and stuff like that but to take something that you've conceived and to push it out so that everybody can look at it and they can you know possibly say that's that's rubbish that's terrible or, wh or whatever or you know or, or even like trying to build up your confidence to, to get up and do a talk or and, and then you end up doing a talk at, at like a, you know one of the main state conferences and um, you know it, it's What's really nice and, and one of the really, really cool things that I've, I've observed over the years is that there's just a huge number of people that want to support people in their journey to do that. Uh, there really are, yeah. And um, it's one of those things, it's like, a, it's almost like, um, uh, it's like a virus of goodness. Like it's like the, the more people in the community, the more people want in the community want to help more people to join the community. and. And support them and stuff like that and um yeah yeah and so you know of course you're also i guess famous for uh you know starting beer form uh <laughs> so you don't just go and create no coffee you know you're also you know running a company yeah uh, so what has your experience been like running uh no coffee and like how has that contributed back to near form oh god it, like you couldn't it'd be hard to measure to measure it and in fact that the, uh, you know, our company and the conference are, are two sides of the same philosophy, if you want to call it that. Like it's, um, uh, it's, it's just been huge. Um, like we, we, from the word go, we weren't into like, you know, just because we're doing something that has impact uh, in an open source project, we don't put like infographics out on, you know, Google AdWords or any of that malarkey like, and um, we try and like, we try and be the people that quietly support something that's important and you get this, this street cred from, from doing that because you're, you're actually, you know, you've got the right types of motivations and people can tell that and there, and you can, it's like I said earlier, you can't synthesize that, that kind of magic, like, right? Like it's, it's like, you know, and, and people find it really refreshing as well. Um, you know, they like most, uh, most of the kind of tech, tech companies are all like venture capital and, all this kind of stuff and it, 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 it's totally like it's very difficult to uh to combine like you know you know a, a, a venture capitalist who wants you to 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 you know hockey stick your whatever software startup um and then if your startup is something to do with open source especially community open source it's it's actually like it just doesn't combine at all so um so it, it's you know, a community open source, um, the uh, it's 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 it can be harder to measure like all the things that you have put effort into, and whether they're ever going to make any difference to you, you know, in a business from business perspective. But um, there, there's been an, just a lot of karma like has come back to us like, um, and you know, from random places over the last number of years, and 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 definitely. I guess when we when we started up, it was like you know we our first project was uh, a national newspaper which was running on Node point six, um, and we were like the Node.js guys, and everyone thought we were crazy. Like we used to go to meetings, and people are like, "Why would you want to run JavaScript on the server? You you know use something else like you like what mm -hmm. the heck?" And um, but then what happened was uh, Node Node.js started to become a thing, and people were like, 
you guys are visionaries, like you're yeah, incredible yeah, yeah. And, and all this kind of stuff. And, and um, you know, like we, we nearly like bankrupted ourselves in the first two, three years, actually just making the community stuff happen and in investing in, in, in things and all that. But um, then like, you know, it, it, like the floodgates just opened and it's, it's like we have all these, um, you know, big, big global companies who know that we're the people that they should hire if they want to do crazy, awesome stuff. And, but they, they don't hire us because they see us on a, you know, a LinkedIn ad either. Like they, they, they actually, you know, they end up with people who are insiders, who know the difference working for them. And it's those people that would know about us. It's not, you know, yeah. I think I kind of explained, but <laughs> I think I kind of answered that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and you're just, you know, from my perspective, I've, I've absolutely seen the, the growth of your form. You know, not just the number of employees, but I've certainly seen that too. But just in mind share, like, you know, everyone I know talking to both at Microsoft, mm. uh, you know, where I work, and other companies, it's just like yeah, everyone knows your form is mm. a central part of the community. Mm. Uh, so, my Which last cool. question uh, about NoCon for you itself mm. uh, is where do you see it going in the future? Um, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> with with NodeConf, yeah, like uh, for me, it's 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 uh, it's it's kind of a, a highlight of my year, um, and for me, it's really important. Like that, you know, we are, you know, from from a company perspective, like we're we're like a strange company that that started in a remote part of Ireland. Uh, doing a technology that nobody understood and then all of a sudden it became mainstream and like everyone's like near form these Irish guys and girls and um, And they did you know, they're kind of they we're fanning out all over the world and stuff now, but it's so important to me that uh, we try and bring that back to Ireland and and we try and bring like, uh, you know people from all over the world to, to like go on this almost like uh, um, uh, it's, it's 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 like going on a um, What's the word for it? Um, pilgrimage uh, to Ireland to you know to to, to 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 go and meet each other once a year and and they got to see what Ireland is about then and so I kind of I really like that and I, I like that it's not you know I don't want to have the big ten thousand ticket conference it's, that's not me at all like right I'm not I'm not a, I'm not in the conference business um, this is something that we are we just have a real love for in in near form. And we just want to make it into something that you know it gives us a it, we we, sh, we give a good account of who we are and, and what we're about and and that's that's the most important thing so um you know as long as i can possibly keep it going i'll keep it going which is probably going to be quite a while all right thank you so much for joining us and uh, i look forward to being back here next year i look forward to that too <laughs>